Hey y'all, it's your boy Mist. How you doing? We're back on this Madden Beginner to Expert series. This is the second episode in a uh, semi-progressive series. Um, you don't have to watch the series in order to fully understand it. But most of these videos are going to be kind of building and complementing off of each other. And we are progressing through... Uh, stages and more concepts of the game as the series goes along. So if you don't feel like this video is for you, um, if you're watching this, you know, much later, you can go ahead and skip to some videos in the future. Uh, or, you know, if you feel at any point in the series that a video, uh, you know, you're, I'm talking about some things that you aren't quite understanding, maybe you should go back a couple of videos and just check them out, all right? But, uh... You know, we're probably going to spend more time on the intro in this because this is, again, the second uh, video in this series. And I just want to stress enough that in this series, um, you might see me use um, the same play a couple of times. You might even see me uh, use a setup or, or, you know, learn a setup or two from this series. But at no point in this series will we teach you a specific play or a money play, or anything like that, because that's not what this series is about. And truthfully, there's no such thing as a money play. There's no such thing as a play that stops all offenses. There's no such play as an unstoppable offensive play. No defense can ever stop it. There is no such thing, all right? So you will never see that on this channel. You'll never see that in this series. But today, um, another very simple concept how to kick. Um, I think it's a very simple concept, but again, I've been informed that some people do not think that it is a very simple concept. Some people maybe don't know or aren't fully aware of your options when it comes to kicking. Uh, here, I think, I mean, this whole series is on um, all Madden, so you can't see where this is going to go. But uh, this kicker on this uh, CFM that I'm with he's got a pretty good leg um not the most accurate of kickers but i wanted to show you guys something okay so we'll kick it like this first and it's it's gonna be i mean off to the right for sure but i'd be doubtful if this goes in yeah just on the crossbar um but this is this is how you kick so you'll press a the meter will start to go up the goal if you see this line um, here at the top, the goal is to get as close to that line. Once you're above that line, you're at max power, okay? Um, and then the line will start to come back down, the meter will start to come back down, and you have to land within the little black line for perfect accuracy. One note to make is that if you have perfect power, max power, and perfect accuracy, your kick will be unblockable. So it is kind of an important part to the game, it is something crucial you should learn to do uh, and do well because if you can consistently get max power kicks with perfect accuracy, no matter what your opponent does, they will not be able to block your kick. I know it's very rare to begin with, but that's just a, a part of how Madden works. That is something that people have come out in the Madden community and have said. People from EA and and you know, the Madden creators have said that. Um, so this is something that we know to be true. Uh, the thing is, though, you know, the what I wanted to show you, right, we'll kick this one here. We'll, we'll do this much power. And we'll come back here. And you kind of see how the meter works there. Uh, you get an idea for it. This kick is going to be good because my kicker has a boot. Um, but then we'll go max power, right? Oh, oh, not fully, not quite max power. So we'll, we'll, again, this meter is much of the same. Uh, let's see if we can get a max power kick here. Um, there we go. So you notice how the meter moves much faster, uh, which is, this is kind of the speed I'm used to it moving, obviously, because I got a perfect kick. So this kick is not going to be blocked. This kick uh, is certainly going in. There's only one mile per hour wind. We're kicking it right down the middle. Um... This kick is going to be fine. I can let go of this. You even hear the little ping. Perfect kick. All right. So, but you notice that the meter moves a little faster. 
uh, once you hit max power. Anything below max power, the meter moves a little slower, which is why I kept hitting it a little too soon. It was going off to the right just a little bit. And you can be with, you know, outside of that accuracy meter and it still go in, just like that second and third kick we saw. But too far outside, and like that first kick we saw, you're going to miss the kick. Um, one thing to note when you're kicking and how to get the most out of kicking, if you're on a, a long kick, this kick is not a very long kick. So we'll uh, change that here. I think they add uh, like 17 to everything or, or maybe 18 to everything. So it ends up being a 57 yarder. Now my controller is shaking. This is telling me where I'm at right now. I am not going to make this kick. Now it's not shaking. So what I've done here is even if I just move this over to the right I'm st or to the left, I'm still going to make it. This one mile per hour wind is going to have some effect on us here. And we'll just kick it straight like this this is going to miss oh maybe maybe i don't know if that was good or not i guess we'd have to see in, in the replay oh wow yeah that was not even close to being good <laughs> i was more so paying attention to it being it was in but it, it, it would definitely didn't have the power so we were uh matter of fact we're about uh five five yards or three four or five yards short okay of having the power um but that comes with, you know, if you're inaccurate, it does take away from the power a little bit. Um, and also, you know, again, that just comes with the fact that we were kicking it, you know, outside of the, the thing anyway. So we'll go back. We'll, we'll see if this is even something possible our kicker can make. But something you can do. So one, we're factoring in the wind. We're going to want to aim to the left a little bit, right? But two... Uh, on these extra long kicks, you have to know we have to aim this the stick, the left stick, down. The left stick is how you aim, by the way. You hold it down. You see how that goes down? It kind of changes the trajectory of the kick. So now you're going to kick um, not as high, but a little bit longer. And we're going a little bit to the left to counter this one mile per hour wind. We can probably go over here and still be in, but we don't want to go too far over because this is going to be the shortest distance for us here, you see. Um, and this is a very long kick. 57 yards is uh, very, very long. So um, we're going to try to get this um, max power. Ooh, we definitely didn't uh, get, get the full accuracy. But we got it. And that kick looks to be somewhat good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's way good. So this is literally the exact same kick from the exact same spot. And we actually hit the power, the, the accuracy meter a little bit to the right, but because we were aiming to the left and because we had held that the stick down, we didn't kick the ball as high and it went further. So we went from missing it from being short five yards to clearing it. Um, I mean, almost three full yards two two and two full yards for sure. Almost three full yards. Um, so the difference was a full, like, seven to eight yards on that kick. All right, another tip here um, is to kick with the wind. In this particular situation, uh, we don't have much wind. It's a one-mile-per-hour wind. But the arrow uh, on the right side of the screen, if you look bottom right, it tells you um, what direction the wind is blowing. Um and it gives you some options on the kickoff. We can do a sky kick, a normal, a squib. If we do squib, um, it's going to go to one of these two guys here that are that are up front. It's going to go almost directly to them, um, pretty much no matter what we do here. Um, there are some ways to finesse and do all that stuff. But uh, really, I mean, look, it's, it's going to split them. And that was actually a very great kick. Um, that ha I mean, we just got a very good bounce there. <laughs> so I guess that went our way. Uh, typically, if you're kicking with the wind, right, we see the wind is blowing toward them, we probably want to do a sky kick, uh, and we want to get maximum power. Um, and the reason for this is the sky kick is going to kick the ball higher, but not as far, right, which is the opposite of what we do in the, in, with the field goals, right, with the long field goals. And they get the ball, they're on the 30-yard line, but by the time they get the ball, uh, the idea is that, yes, they get the ball closer, um, but the idea is that we are closer to them by the time they actually get the ball. And so it gives them less to work with. 
Also, it doesn't give them the option to take a knee, uh, especially if you're, you know, five or six mile per hour winds, if you have them with you, um, this works a whole lot better. Um, five, six mile per hour winds, instead of catching this at the 10, he's probably catching this at the five or at the two. Um, so it doesn't give him the option to take it out. And it gives you, you know, a chance at a fumble or, or what have you, and your players are going to be closer so it doesn't give them as much of a chance to react and cut and make a play and try to take it back to the house. Um, conversely, on the other side, if you don't want them to have a chance to return it, maybe they've already returned one on you, that's fine. If we just leave it how it is, uh, we can kick this here. And it, this should be a, a fairly decent kick. See, it's in the back of the end zone. Uh, we don't have to change it. Madden has done a very good job of making the kickoffs pretty user friendly. Uh, one more tip, one more you know note to add would be on kickoffs um, to kick with the wind. So it you know if there's if this wind was going to the side, I mean we can see it's going slightly to the left. So maybe I want to kick this ball uh, slightly to the left as well uh, because you kind of you want to be going with the wind. If this was a you know, a four mile per hour wind and it was like straight left, then I would hold this straight left. Cause on the kickoff, you, you like, if you hold it all the way one direction, so long as you don't shank it on the accuracy meter, you, you cannot kick it out of bounds. We can do this here, make this kick. I even went a little bit left on the accuracy and you'll see that this is going to be well within being in bounds. But what this has done, I mean, that kick still landed in the end zone. It was still a very deep kick, and it's gone to one side, so it kind of limits them. They were only able to get this back to, like, what, the, tw the 20, I believe? People get really shifty. There are some people that, you know, have tremendous skills. But chances are, if you're watching this video, um, and you're finding this to be helpful and useful, the people that you're playing against um, aren't the people that know how to abuse uh, and, and take kicks for, for returns. They just aren't, okay? Um, but uh, I, that being said, we're going to end the video there because I want to try to keep this series, uh, the videos in this series, about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, some may go longer, some may be shorter, uh, depending on what we cover. But, you know, I want to give all the credit, all the glory, everything to God because whether it be playing Madden or just the ability to explain Madden to even a few people, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to do anything without him. So I give him all the praise, with everything that I do. Um, if you guys find this useful, let me know. If you guys, uh, want me to cover a specific thing, let me know in the comments. Um, maybe it's something I plan on getting to later in the series. Maybe not. And I can add it in before we get to the end of the series, or I can do an updated version of the series. Um, you know, some other time, even if this is much later, but, uh, you know, let me know if this is useful to you guys. Uh, let me know if this was something that, you know, you guys could, could get any benefit from. And if so, uh, let me know what you guys would like to see, or maybe something you would like to know that you don't already know. Uh, and again, for those of you guys that are out there, that are saying this is a very stupidly easy concept that anyone would get yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, I mean, it is very easy. It's a very easy concept to get and pick up and understand. But, you know, for someone that's just picking up Madden, for someone that maybe just got the game this year, maybe they don't know that. And also, one thing I wanted to show you, actually, side note, right before we leave here. Um, I want to show you, if you do this kick meter here, you go like this, and you hold A, it actually won't kick the ball until you let go of the A button. Same thing for kickoffs, or for the field goals. Now, on the field goals, uh, once the play clock gets down to three seconds, it will automatically kick it. Um, but here, you can pretty much hold it. I think in game, it gives they give you like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Once you've held it, it'll automatically kick it wherever you have or, or wherever you're at. Um, but that's just the, the last tidbit. I think that's something to know because if someone is like really trying to time uh, your field goals to block them, um, you can kick it and you can do this because it makes a sound. It makes the same sound for them. Uh, so you can do this and you can maybe hold it for a couple of seconds uh, and then snap the ball. Uh, sometimes doing stuff like that helps keep your field goals from being blocked. But again, uh, I love you guys. I'm going to have more of this series coming for you. So... 
are coming to you, <laughs> not, not for you. Trust me, you're, you're safe. But um, there's going to be more of this series coming to you guys. Um, so I just want to let you guys know, man, I, I love you guys. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for, you know, just giving me your time. Uh, like it if you like the content, if you learn something. Uh, dislike it if you don't like it, that's fine as well. Uh, if you want to see something else, leave a comment, let me know. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll see you next time. Until then, I love you guys. Peace.